Hi there, I'm Alex from Hammer Missions, and in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to create reports in Hammer Missions. So as you can see here, it's our usual go-to, which is the mill, and we're going to want to create some reports on our findings. So, what we can do first is we'll have to annotate some of our images, because if no images are annotated, you, you won't get any report data so I think we've already got one annotated image. So let's just create another one. So annotations are done by holding the shift key down and drawing around your object. And then we can label our object. So if we can put in here, window and this annotation we can also change to severe if we'd like to let's create another annotation so we've got more information for our report let's go with this one here and we shall put broken glass so now we've got a few annotated images we can then create a report this is done by going up here to report we can select report then we have some options so we can add an introductory paragraph to our report add a cover image and use a custom logo or as default you can export the image names, export the image comments, and export the image tags. We can also tick this box, which includes guest access links for all images in reports. As it says here, this will make the project accessible through a private link. So what we'll do to start with is we'll just generate a default report. And that's easily done by clicking Generate Report. And the report will process as it says here please don't navigate away from the report while it's being generated and depending on the project size it may take a few minutes as i've already stated here images without annotations are not included in the report so if there's no annotations your report's basically going to be can be blank unless you've added these parts here so We'll come back to this once the report's been generated. So our report has finished generating, and as you can see here, now we can download our report. So we select download, our report downloads. We can open our report and have a look. Again, this is just the default report. So here we are. Shows you its creation time, obviously reported, generated by ourselves, and it gives you each one of the annotated images on the report, and some details about the flight, your latitude and longitude, your heading, the date the picture was taken, and gives you information on your annotation. As you can see, the severity on this one was high because it's marked in red, and you've got the comments that you added when you annotated the images. Same below. And again at the bottom. So that is your default report. We'll now move on to a more advanced report. Okay, so we're back on our project screen. We already have our annotated images. So we can now move on and do our more advanced report so we come up here to report select that our default is already ticked but we're going to add these parts here so add an introductory paragraph we're just going to put the mill oops east sussex we're going to add a cover image select our cover image by 
hit the little paper clip icon here. Add that in. We're going to use a custom logo. Again, press the paper clip. Add our custom logo. And then we're going to keep the others ticked. We're going to leave, we're going to leave guest access links for images and report. And we're going to generate report. Again, this may take some time, so we will come back once the report has been processed. Advanced report is finished processing. We can uh, download our report. So select download report. See it's downloaded down here. We can open that up. And here we have our advanced report. You can see our custom logo here, albeit a bit small on this occasion. We have our cover image, our introduction, and then the same as the default. So we've got our annotated data. And that is our advanced report. So we can close this. And we can go on back to report. This time around, we can select include guest access links for all images in report. We select this icon, then press generate report. It'll create the whole report again, but giving us guest access links for the images in the report. So let's press generate report. And then we'll come back when that report is generated. Report downloaded. We can hit download. Should I say processed? We can open that report. And again, it's the same as the advanced report. As you can see there. But we have these added links. We can then select and there you go that opens our report in a web viewer with our 3d model and our annotations So there you go. Well, I hope you've liked this tutorial. Please give us a like below. If you have any comments, please feel free to comment. You can also contact us on team at hammermissions.com. Thanks very much for watching.